to Syntex Sports Network. This is Jalen Gillis, and we are live from Cisco College, where MCC is taking on the Cisco Lady Wranglers. Both of these teams coming in 2-0 and in conference. MCC coming off of the win in their last game against Rutherford. They were on the road on Saturday. Again, it was a win 87-61. to And the corner three is knocked in. Right away, I have a Lady Rangers. Lady Rangers coming into this game with a 12 and 4 record. Both of these teams are said 2 0 in conference so far. And the first shot may good, but she'll get a second chance, and that is Anaya Williams as she is able to get NCC their first punch up on the board. Saturday. And back to back threes to start this game for the Lady Rangers as they knock in another three. We said MCC coming in. And Mercedes Nephew will knock in a three to match the three on the other side. Mercedes Nephew coming off of a huge game, 38 points on Saturday against Weatherford. If you haven't seen yet, you can catch her highlights. On this Instagram, Syntex Sports TV on Instagram. Let you go and check that out. Another corner three from the Lady Rangers. This time is no good. These are two of the top teams in the conference. And the floater is good on the drive. That's on by Asia Ward. Say that shot, last shot in the corner from the Lady Rangers was a two and not a three. Five to seven. And this one is a three. And a straightaway three knocked right in by the Lady Rangers. Both teams getting the offense going here early to start this game. Mercedes Nephew will try another shot and she is picking up where she left off on Saturday as she knocks in another three pointer. They're coming off of a 38-point game. Score 22 in the second quarter. And a steal. Good defense by Asia Ward. Ward coming over with another steal. One of the better defenders on this team. Now she'll get the jumper and knocks this one in. 
Asia Ward, who's been playing great all year long, knocks in the long two. Saturday had another double double. She had 11 points, 10 rebounds to go along with four blocks, two assists, and four steals. As Lady Lingers knock in another jump shot. Both of these teams have their offense going in this first four minutes. Both teams starting out hot. Loader, no good. Try for the rebound. Cisco comes down with it. Short corner jumper, that time no good. Fight for the rebound. MCC gets it back. Shot up, can't get it to go. They'll get one more chance. And the ball goes out of bounds. They'll say last touch by MCC. This has been a, a very fast pace. First five minutes of this game. Both teams coming out firing. Tipped out of bounds. And looks like it's going to stay Cisco ball. And we'll have our first media timeout here. First five minutes out of the way, we'll be right back for the remainder of this first quarter. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free. But having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Colleen, Temple, Mark, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 area, So back to the action here. Cisco with the ball. They're leading by a point here at home. Taking on MCC. And that's going to be a shot clock violation as they come out of the timeout. back shot this time it is good once again Asia Ward around the basket able to get that one to go
Payne with the ball. She'll set up the offense. And a steal by the Lady Rangers. Wranglers, here they come. And in transition, able to get that to go. This one is good. Count the bucket plus the foul. This time for Phillips. She'll head to the line. Chance to complete this three-point play. Corner three this time is good. Cisco remains hot from behind the arc. MCC back with the ball, trailing by just a point. Here on the road, taking on the Lady Wranglers. The jump shot is no good, rebounded by the Lady Wranglers. Corner three once again for Cisco, this time no good. Ward on the rebound. The drive. And this shot no good from Ward. Cisco's got the ball. Gonna push the tempo. And another three-pointer this time. No good. Fight for the rebound. They get their own rebound. Put a shot back up. And this one bounces up and gets the shooter's bounce. Drops in. Ball. Give it off to Phillips. Back down low to McCarthy. The drive, and they're going to get the travel call this time. Going to be a turnover for the High Lassies. Just 49 seconds left to go here in this first quarter. Mid-range jumper, time, no good, rebounded by Williams. And a tie-up, an outlet pass to Payne. Foul called on Cisco.
Clock running down. Three-pointer from the wing, and this one is good. Lena Payne knocks in the three right as the quarter ends out, and that will tie this one up at 20 apiece. Looks like we've got ourselves a good one going on here today in Cisco. 20 to 20 is the score as we end the first quarter. We'll be right back for the start of the second. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Colleen, Temple, Mark, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254. 254. Let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. to the action here. Cisco, we're all knotted up at 20 apiece. Number four, MCC on the road, taking on Cisco College. And an easy bucket inside that time. Gives them some MCC the lead to start the second quarter. Both teams started off hot shooting the ball in the first. Cisco really having some success from behind the three-point line as they'll try another one from the corner right here and they get it to go right on cue. They knock in another three. Pain in the corner. Now the drive, good pass inside to Williams. Couldn't get that to go right at the buzzer. And that was Ward that time on the shot. Couldn't get it to go right at the buzzer. Ball goes out of bounds. It's gonna stay down here with MCC. Nephew gets the screen. I should pass it over. And they try to keep control of the ball. This one goes into the backcourt. You see, able to keep possession. Shot clock running down. Spin move. Nephew will get up a three, and that one no good. They get another offensive rebound. Ward with the rebound. And now stolen away by Cisco. Kick this out. We said a lot of success from behind the three-point line so far in this game for Cisco as they'll get called for a travel. Turner will give it back to MCC. Drive from Ward. That's a kick out to Nephew. Nephew on the drive. Goes up and a foul going to be called. That's going to send Nephew to the free throw line. Sadie's nephew at the line. She's out of Willis, Texas, averaging 
was 13 a game on the season, but in conference play, she's averaging 32 points a game as she gets that first one to go. And both free throws good from Nephew. Really stepped up big, especially in losing Beverly in that first conference game of the season. She's been able to step up in a big way. Three-pointer, and this is good. Straight away three, knocked in once again from Cisco. Ward will try to three. That went off back iron, rebounded. And on the spin, a tie-up. And it's going to be called a jump ball. See which way the possession arrow goes. And I believe it's going to stay down here with MCC. Nephew off the pass. Couldn't get the shot to go. Rebounded by Cisco. What you see in the zone. Drive. Shot no good. Rebounded by Williams. back out now the drive pass inside and looks like a charge going to be called offensive foul turnover from MCC Three-pointer put up, this time no good, and the rebound and shot is good this time. Cisco takes a four-point lead. Payne calling out the offense, gets it over to Ward. Ward's got it back. On the drive, kicks back out to McCarthy. Over in the corner for three, and that time no good. Rebounded by Cisco. They're going to push the tempo. Good pass, and the shot is up. This time no finish. Good defense from MCC. Now Ward's got it going the other way, and can't get the shot to go. Rebounded by Cisco. Long pass. Cisco able to keep control. Three-pointer at time, no good. Ward on the rebound. Nephew with the pump fake, and they'll call her for the travel. And looks like we're going to have a timeout called here. 434 left to go here in this first half. Cisco with the four-point lead. MCC on the road, trailing by four. We'll be right back. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free. But having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. 
You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Colleen, Temple, Mark, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254. 254. Let's run it up. Back to the action here, 4.30 left to go in this first half. Cisco with a four-point lead, taking on number four, MCC. Cisco with the ball, they'll kick it into the corner, they'll try another corner three, and this time it's good once again. Time Grissett able to score. Cisco stays hot from behind the three-point line. The drive and shot no good, but a foul going to be called. That drive from Hervey. So the foul is on the ground. So we're baseline out of bounds for the high lashes. If you will get the three point shot, that time no good. Just go on the rebound. Pick up a screen. Now step back three-pointer. This time no good. Payne on the rebound. And now the three-pointer at the top of the key. No good, but they get an offensive rebound. Payne puts this one up and in. Atlanta Payne with the offensive rebound and the score. Cuts it to a five-point game. Three-pointer off the back rim, right for the rebound. Hervey comes down with it. Payne will back it back out. We'll set up the offense. Phillips get the screen. Hervey will take the shot, and this one, no good, goes out of bounds. Cisco's ball. CC's offense has slowed down a little bit, scored 20 in that first half, in that first quarter. Six points here so far in the second. They try to get their offense back going. Cisco with the ball in the lead. Good tip pass as Williams will come down with the ball after the steal. And miscommunication that time between Payne and Phillips as the ball goes out of bounds. Good defense that time as Hervey's able to come in and get the steal. Pass inside to Anaya Williams, and she's able to score. Cuts the lead to just three. The driving kick, three-pointer, no good. They get an offensive rebound. They'll put a shot up that time, no good. Williams on the rebound.
Phillips on the drive. And a foul going to be called. That's going to send. It will be the offensive foul. Foul goes against MCC. Under a minute left to go in this first half. And a travel going to be called on the drive. Song Rasad. As MCC will get the ball back. Nephew on the pump fake. Gets the ball over to Ward. Pass inside to Williams. Williams tries to get the scoop layup to go. No good. Cisco with the ball, and they can hold for the last shot. Good defense that time as Ward able to come up with another steal. Tried to dish it off to Williams. Looks like they'll say it was a kick ball. MCC will keep it. Good defense once again from Asia Ward. Nephew gets it off to Williams. Williams goes up. Shot no good. Cisco with a chance for one final shot. And they'll throw one up from near half court. And that will do it for this first half of ball as MCC trailing by three points here on the road. Taking on Cisco College. Good first half we've seen here so far, folks. 31-28 is the score. Number four, MCC on the road in Cisco taking on the Lady Wranglers. It's been a good first half so far. Coach Thomas will talk it over with their squad in the locker room and see if they can come out and get some things corrected. We have about 12 minutes for our halftime break before we come back to you for the start of the second half. 31-28 is the score. You're watching MCC Basketball here on Syntex Sports Network. We'll be back. My name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price, and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Killeen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254, 254, let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price, and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here.
What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Killeen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254. 254. Let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Killeen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254, 254, let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Killeen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254, 254, let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Killeen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254, 254, let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. 
MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Colleen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254. 254, let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Colleen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254, 254, let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Colleen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254, 254, let's run it up. Welcome back to the action here on Syntex Sports Network. Jalen Gill is still here live in Cisco, Texas. Good half of basketball for both of these two teams. And CC trailing right now. Down by three on the road here taking on Cisco College. Said Cisco coming in with the 12 and four record. MCC 13 and three. That's first shot missed by Cisco coming out of the locker room. MCC's offense went a little bit stagnant in that second quarter. We'll see if they can pick back up where they left off in the first. As that corner three, no good. 
CC score 20 points in the first quarter, only eight points in that second. We'll see if they can get offense back going. Cisco has been pretty hot from behind the three-point line in that first half in this game. Good range jumper this time is good. Cisco gets their first points up on the board of the second half. I want to thank everybody that's been watching with us. If you're watching with us on the YouTube stream, make sure you guys jump in the chat. Let us know who you're rooting for and where you are watching from. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. If you with the pump fake, she'll kick it back out. The ball movement from MCC. Williams with the shot. That time, no good. Rebounded by Cisco. Drive in the crossover. This time is good. Off the glass. Count the basket. Plus the foul. And looks like they'll say, don't count the basket. They'll call that one an offensive foul. Good defense by MCC, able to get in position that time and was ready to take the charge. Gives them a turnover that they need, trailing by five. Nephew passed this one off to Williams. Williams able to score. Naya Williams, somebody that's always consistent for this high last squad, gets another two right there. Rebound by MCC after the missed shot. Payne inside to Williams. Williams couldn't get that one to go. Looks like another offensive foul that will go against Cisco as MCC forces another turnover. Quick timeout call, just 7.30 left to go in this third quarter. We'll take a short break for this timeout and be right back. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming. And you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. Back after the timeout three-point game. Bring this up and set up the offense. Ingram on the drive and kick to Williams. Range jumper from Ward. No good. Williams with an offensive rebound. She'll go back up. That time, no good. Fight for the rebound. And Nephew comes out with it, but it looks like they're going to call a foul. And that will go against MCC. They're going to call out of bounds right there. Say she stepped out of bounds before the drive. That's the turnover that gives it back to the high lassies. And 
Ingram rings it up. It's a one possession game. Ingram on the drive all the way to the cup, and this one is good. Leia Ingram with the much needed bucket right there closes the gap to just one. Corner three, no good. Rebounded by Ingram. We get it up court to Nephew. And nephew will bring it back out. Williams up top. She'll drive. William gets all the way to the basket. Lost control of it at the last second. Goes out of bounds. Gives it back to Cisco. Looks like they stopped to fix something on the clock. Three-pointer straight away. That time, no good from Adams. Rebounded by Ward. Ward all the way to the cup. Tries the Eurostep. Couldn't get it to go. point game Cisco with the ball range jump shot no good right there at the buzzer shot clock violation MCC with the ball three from MCC. No good. They'll get an offensive rebound. Couldn't get that to go. One more offensive rebound, and this time it's up and good from Anaya Williams. And that will give MCC the lead. As they climb back in this one, take the lead back. One point lead. Step through, and this is good. Another lead change as Cisco takes the lead right back. Loader, not good. Let's go with the ball, loose ball, fight for it on the ground, and MCC comes out with it. Good hustle from MCC. Ward out in front in transition. Can't get the lay in to go. Here comes Cisco as they get the rebound. Three-pointer taken. That time no good. They're getting off as a rebound. Blocked from behind. What it looks like. And now stolen back by Cisco. A kick out for a three from Adams. And this one is good. Crazy sequence kind of back and forth there between those two teams. Adams comes out with a three for Cisco. And they've got a four-point lead. Payne gets the corner, gets the three from the wing, and she responds with the three of her own. That makes it a one-point game as we're going to get a timeout called. 
2.58 left to go in this third quarter. Good game going on here in Cisco, Texas. We'll be right back. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free. But having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Killeen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254, 254, let's run it up. Back to the action here in Cisco. MCC trailing by a point. Cisco with the ball as we're near the final two minutes of this third quarter. Mid range jumper, no good. Rebounded by the high lassies. Stolen away by the Wranglers. Leave this one inside. Fade away jumper. No good. And a steal on the outlet pass. As Cisco gets the ball right back. Ball kicked into the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Payne going to take this one all the way. We'll slow it up. After that missed shot, Cisco with the ball back. And another steal for MCC. All the way with this is good. Ingram able to score on the fast break after the steal. Another lead change in this game. And another steal. Phillips comes up with the ball. Phillips going to take this all the way and couldn't finish. Some contact. She'll be fouled on this side. Good defense once again from MCC. This time Phillips able to come in off the bench and get a steal. Inbound, the shot put up, and a foul going to be called. That's going to put Hervey on the free throw line. Chance to try to make this a three-point game. Under a minute left to go in this third. Chance for one more at the line for Hervey. Oh, 
Kirby be able to get the second one to go. It's a two-point game. Cisco with the ball. Foul called underneath. And this one is going to be called a block. That's going to put Fernandez on the line. First shot good from Fernandez and a chance to tie it up here at the line with just 30 seconds left to go in the third. Missed on the second free throw, so MCC keeps the lead. And they can hold for potentially the last shot. Ingram with the ball up top. Crossover and the kick out to Phillips. Phillips passes it over. Three-pointer taken from Ward. That one no good. And that will close out this third quarter in what's been a back-and-forth game. Multiple lead changes for both of these teams in this game today. One-point lead for MCC going into the fourth quarter. Stay tuned, folks. We should be scheduled for a good one here in the start of the fourth quarter. We'll be right back for the start of the fourth. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price, and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free, but having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. Back to the action here. MCC with the ball as we start this fourth quarter off. They've got a one-point lead trying to close out here on the road. And looks like called to travel that time on Ingram. Francisco gets the ball back. MCC with a good third quarter, able to come back and take a very narrow lead as a three-pointer put up on the other side is good. Cisco gets a three to go. Had a lot of success from behind that three-point line in the first half. Slowed up a little bit in that third quarter. They get their first one to go here in the fourth. And stolen away as they tip this ball out. Adams on the fast break. Goes all the way down the court and gets this lay in to go. Big shot there for the Lady Wranglers as they take a four-point lead. Two back-to-back -back buckets to start off this fourth quarter.
Dangerous pass. Payne able to keep it. Payne kicks out to Nephew. Nephew for three. That one no good. And ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cisco. So MCC will keep it. The referees discussing four-point game here with just 8.09 left to go in the game. Here's your Ward on the inbound. Ward turnaround shot that time off the back iron. Right for the ball. Cisco comes down with it. Range jumper is good. Six point lead as the Lady Wranglers offense starting to wake up here in the fourth. Three pointer from Nephew that time a little bit too strong. Good offensive rebound by Anaya Williams. Back shot from Williams. No good. Another offensive rebound as MCC showing a lot of hustle. Three pointer that time, no good. This time, Cisco with the rebound. They've got numbers in transition. Mid range jump shot. This one is good. Cisco scores once again to take an eight point lead. Nine unanswered points to start off this fourth quarter by the Lady Wranglers. Like we're going to have a timeout. Just under seven minutes left to go here in the game. Eight point lead for Cisco. We'll be back after this break. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free. But having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Colleen, Temple, Mark, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254. 254, let's run it up. Hello, my name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntex Sports Network. Back to the action after the timeout. MCC giving up nine unanswered points. Looking to get something going on the offensive end out of this timeout. Payne will get the screen from Williams. Payne on the drive, gets downhill and gets this to go. Elena Payne with the much needed bucket for the high lasses. Get this inside to Adams. Adams fadeaway jumper. That one rolls around the rim. No good. Here comes Payne in the high lasses. Feed it inside. 
Good seal that time from Anaya Williams. She gets the bucket to go. Backdoor cut and good defense from MCC. Looks like they'll get a foul call though. So that's going to put Cisco on the line. Demetria Smith at the free throw line. Knocks in her first one. This is on the second, but Adams able to get an offensive rebound. They'll get another chance. Three-pointer in the corner that time. No good. Fight for the rebound. Nephew able to come out with it. Get it inside. That time layup no good from Payne. Cisco going to push all the way down the court and able to finish this time. Plus the foul. Count this one. And the free throw coming up at the line. After the drive. Off the rebound goes coast to coast. That's Fernandez able to score. Chance for a three-point play. And Fernandez does complete the three-point play. If you looking for a screen, step back. Mid-range jump shot, no good. Fight for the rebound. Payne able to come down with it. Payne goes back up. Payne's going to be fouled. That should be two free throws at the line coming up for Elena Payne. Payne at the free throw line. Five minutes left to go in the game. She makes her first one. Both free throws good from Payne. Six-point game here. And a steal. Good timing that time by Mercedes' nephew. And she's going to get the easy lay-in. Nephew, great at jumping those passing lanes. Her and Asia Ward definitely can be dangerous in the passing lane coming up with steals. And nephew almost comes up with another one. Three-pointer straight ahead. That time a little bit short. Here comes MCC. Payne's got the ball. Looked like a foul going to be called against Cisco while they were running. Baseline out of bounds for the high lassies. Try to inbound it to Williams and stolen away. Range jumper a little bit too strong comes right back and nephew able to get the rebound. The four minutes left to go, four point game. Three pointer in the corner from nephew where she hits a big time shot.
Big shot that time from Mercedes' nephew. They're looking to get a stop. And we'll see what they call. They'll say a jump ball. And looks like Lady Wranglers will keep possession. Jumper, no good. The fly in for the offensive rebound. Good hands that time from Asia Ward. She's able to block the pass and come up with the steal. And looks like a foul going to be called. Reaching foul that will go against the Lady Wranglers. Inbound this to Williams. Williams has the shot blocked out of bounds. We'll stay down here with MCC. Floater off the glass. Elena Payne once again. Able to give MCC a one-point lead. Big-time shot. Just under three minutes left to go. MCC with a one-point lead on the road. Taking on 12-4, and four, Cisco. Shot no good. Fight for the ball. And they'll call a loose ball foul on the Lady Wranglers. And it looks like that's going to put them in the bonus. So that's a big foul on the loose ball right there. Chance for MCC to extend their lead. Just two and a half minutes left to go. Free throws coming up for MCC at the line. Ingram misses on the first free throw, but she'll get a chance for one more. And a missed trip that time at the line for MCC as Ingram unable to make a free throw. Still got a one-point lead. And now we're going to get a timeout called by Cisco. 2.25 left to go in this game. Just a one-point lead for MCC as they're here on the road. Taking on the Cisco Lady Wranglers. Short timeout. We'll be right back. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. I came to MCC because of the price and because of the location. The actual campus itself is just beautiful to experience. All the core classes that I've taken have prepared me for the next stage in my education. So having graduated... We come back to the action. Nephew was able to get a steal off the inbound and a foul called. They'll say no foul, just a block shot out of bounds as MCC will get the ball back. Big time steal by MCC. Chance to try to extend this one point lead. And the shot is up and good, plus the foul counted. And the chance to go to the line for a three point play. Elena Payne stepping up big in this second half. Gets the steal and gets the lay or gets the lay in to go off of the inbound after the Mercedes nephew steal and is able to complete the three point play. Four 
four-point lead for MCC. And a good block. Great defense from MCC that time. The campaign to bring it up and set up the offense. Four-point lead, under two minutes left to go. Pass this inside, and a foul going to be called. That's going to put the highlights right back on the free throw line. This time, it's Anaya Williams. She'll head to the line, chance to try to extend this lead. Williams makes the first free throw. Miss on the second, fight for the rebound. MCC gets it back. They'll get another offensive rebound. Great hustle from the high lassies. Mid-range jumper, that time no good. And Cisco is going to take a timeout after they get across half court. 113 left to go in the game. A five-point lead for MCC. On the road, taking on Cisco. We'll be right back for the last minute of this game. So having graduated as valedictorian, I could have gone to any public university for free. But having MCC so close to home, I don't think that I could have gotten this experience through a four-year university. I love it here. What's up, everybody? My name is Jalen Gillis. You may know me from Syntex Sports Network. We're starting a new platform, Recruit 254. Our mission is to highlight the amazing student athletes of 254. So if you're in the Waco, Killeen, Temple, Mart, Marlin, or any surrounding 254 areas, follow this platform and join the movement. Recruit 254. 254, let's run it up. Back to the action here. Final minute and some change of this game. MCC trying to pull off another come from behind win to get their third conference win on the road in Cisco. The foul going to be called on the drive, and that's going to put the Lady Wranglers on the free throw line. Just 57 seconds left. Five-point game. Maya Simon on the free throw line for the Lady Wranglers. She misses on the first one. She'll have a chance for one more. Makes the second one. That makes it a four-point game. And the ball tipped out by Adams. He gets the steal. And in transition, they have numbers. She gets the easy lay-in, and that's Simon. Go down to a two-point game. And we're going to get a timeout called by MCC now. 45 seconds left to go in this game. Coach Thomas will take a quick timeout. Talk it over with their team. As they try to get things worked out, that last steal made it a one possession game. Just 45 seconds left. Cisco doesn't have to foul. They can try to play defense here. They'll have plenty of time to try to get one more shot off if they're able to get a stop. 
want to thank everybody that's been watching with us here today to bring you this broadcast all the way in Cisco, Texas. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the YouTube if you're watching with us on the YouTube. Also, like this stream. Forty-five seconds left. MCC with the ball and the two-point lead. Inbound this to Ingram. Adams pokes this ball. And now they're going to call the push foul. That will go against Cisco. So that foul puts MCC back on the line. Big free throws coming up here for Ingram. They've got 31 seconds left to go. Chance to make this a potential two possession game. Ingram misses on the first free throw. They have a chance for one more. And makes second free throw. Makes it a three-point game. Cisco, chance to tie it up. Drive from Adams, shot up, and a foul going to be called. That's going to send Adams to the free throw line. Sixteen seconds left. They can cut the lead to one point. And there's still time for them to try to come up with the steal before they have to foul. Missed on the first free throw by Adams. And two missed free throws. Fight for the rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. And it looks like it's going to stay on this end with Cisco. So they get the ball back even though they missed both free throws. Missed opportunity right there for the high lassies. As a timeout's going to be called with 14 seconds left. Three-point game. Cisco gets another possession out of this one. We'll take a very short break and come right back. My name is Roy Gillis, CEO of Lighthouse Streaming, and you're watching Syntech Sports Network. MCC has definitely benefited me most on not only what I want to do, but who I aspire to be. Expect every professor to help you become who you want to be and more. Create your own success at MCC. Back to the action. Cisco down by three. They've got possession. They throw the ball in. They'll try to three. And they'll call an offensive foul. Big call. Goes against Cisco. Sarah Rasad, they'll call that foul against her with just eight seconds left to go in the game. Big time foul. Timeout called after that. Offensive foul called on Sarah Rashad. Big call right there. Gives MCC the ball back and a chance to potentially close this game out. Eight seconds left. It's not much time for Cisco to try to go for the steal. They're probably going to have to foul right away. And 
And MCC really just needs one free throw to be able to close this one out in what will be a big win on the road, playing in a tough environment. Cisco. Both teams so far undefeated in conference. MCC trying to give Cisco the first conference loss. They get this in the nephew, and they let her get a couple seconds off the clock before they finally foul. Five seconds left, and Nephew will head to the free throw line. Chance to ice this game at the line for Mercedes Nephew. And Nephew hits the first one. That is the most important free throw. He's got a chance for one more here at the line. She makes both of them. Big time free throws made. Cisco's going to have to hurry up and get the ball down the court. Try to get one three off. Adams will put up the three. And that is no good. And that is how this game will end. Great win for Coach Thomas and the High Lassies here on the road. As they pull off another come from behind win. 60 to 55 is the final score in this one. Big time win as Coach Thomas moves to 3-0 and in conference play and her first time as head coach playing in conference. Big time win for the High Lassies here on the road as they stay undefeated in conference play. 60-55 to is the final score. I want to thank everybody for watching with us in today's game. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube. Also follow us on our social media, Syntex Sports TV, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So make sure you check us out there. Signing off here today is Jalen Gillis from Cisco, Texas. 60 to 55 is the final score. MCC will be back in action this Saturday at home at the Highlands taking on Collin College. Big game coming up this weekend, so make sure you guys tune in for that. Once again, thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you on Saturday. Good night. I was on that front line. Look. <laughs> Look. I was on that front line. Look, I was on that front line. How they finna tell us it ain't our time? Search what you can't find. I do it for them days that we couldn't shine. I was on that front line. How they finna tell us it ain't our time?